Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome back to another episode of The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. Where we last left off was that we are continuing with a quest called Wine is Sacred. Uh, or the Sacred Wine. I don't remember the. Was it? Wine is Sacred, yes. Um, we're continuing the, the quest, the main quest of Wine is Sacred. And before that, we finished up the children, the children main quest one. The main quest called uh, Children is something. It's like a very long title with. Uh, I wonder if I. Okay, I can meditate a little bit. I need to get some health back. Um. Yeah, I forgot what it's called. There it is. Where children toil, uh, toys waste away. So that's the last quest we did in the last episode. We finished that up. Where we found out that Detlaf was being blackmailed by somebody we don't know about. But the somebody ended up... We ended up getting a clue from the notes of uh, who's the person who sent the letter to run, run. whatever it is. So we'll, we'll get to them... Hopefully soon. Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Ravello. It's the best in Old Tucson. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it, Fabricio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonreal stain, how did it wind up on the table? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampires? Probably. Could be a servant. Could be the steward. Oh. Could be the wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. My assumption is that the people inside the winery is dead, or dead, or that the main person is, the main person the working on it, is probably dead. Uh, values, peace. Let's see if they are. Captain De La Tour, we did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... your grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. Mm -mm. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? Inspection. Oh, well, let's talk to him first. Came to see you. Got some questions. In this land, it is seen as polite to introduce oneself before asking any questions. <laughs> Lol. This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. <laughs> Which uh, is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. <laughs> of... of course. He's so confused. <laughs> Did you hear that, Witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about San Real? I am at your service. Who's got access? The San Real. How many vineyard workers have access to it? One might say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. I see you've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become Son Real. Ah, okay. The workers assist me only to the stage of fermentation. I see to the maceration personally and let no one near the fat. Workers, I... again, assist me during barreling, but then I seal the aging barrels myself, each and every one. The okay. wine lies in the cellar, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes Sonreal. And as it happens, only I have the key to the cellar in question. Interesting. So basically, nobody can access it unless told him specifically this guy specifically to get the wine itself from the cellar which the the sangreal has to be prepared to be pulled out before actually being given to to drink who hauls the barrels to the palace we've our own garrison guards <laughs> who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine we'll not get anywhere asking questions i see it's a waste of time. What? Your grace, 
She got impatient. Oh, am I to what? understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have. Which means one of two things. It's either stolen. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. She's like a bad but, cop. <laughs> but silence! Oof. And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Man, she's aggressive. Remind me, where is this Andreal stored? In, in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. Interesting. I mean, I was gonna get to the the third line where we, we ask if it was stolen or not, but I think it might have just resulted in nothing happening, anyways. What if where... Fabricio's blackmailing the vampire? Considered that. He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. Oh. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravelli. Only then did he come into his own. Interesting. I never realized that the guy had such a weird upbringing to get to this sort of situation or state. Though I feel like he's not lying, I think he's just... Not certain about things, I guess. Like he's not certain about anything about. So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Okay, I guess. Mm, vintner's log. Oh. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Hmm. Everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Sure, I guess. I don't know what the vintage are, but I think it's probably because of what year the wine has been sitting in there. At the same time, I'm thinking, since they mentioned the vint Vintner, the Vintner, I keep calling it Vintner because it sounds better. Uh, the Vintner uh, contracts. We did a lot of those. I'm kind of curious if they result in better better and bigger rewards through this place because I actually realize if this is the case then I'm curious on uh, what we'll find from here okay we got to read this pause and read actually yeah we really really we already read these things actually no we didn't read these things Yeah, we didn't read it, but Geralt spoke little about it, or mentioned uh, mentioned it on some of the sentences during the cutscene, but we didn't really fully read it, so pause and read that, of course. I didn't realize we didn't read it earlier, but at least we now know that we didn't read it yet. So sheet 1, 2, and 3, and then I'll scroll down to 4 soon. There we go. And we should be good. Cool. This is Ervalus. I don't think this is it, right? Ervalus. I like it. Quite dry. An excellent wine. You could taste. <laughs> I don't know why the compliment has to come into play here. Est Est. Is this what we're looking for? Est Est. Think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous for it. A wooden hammer. I don't know why there's a wooden hammer there. We're looking for Sangriel, so... Short history of Pani Pamino. Pomino. Pomino. Domino. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know. That is a song. <laughs> a Domino song is just started thinking in my head. Uh, is this what we're looking for? Pomino. Got Pamino over here. So that's not what we're looking for. Maybe upstairs. Uh, up the up the stairs here. A 
What's over here? Nothing. Got it. Sangria. But this is 1270, not 1269. Close. Sorry, yeah. 1270 vintage. That's the wrong year. Keep looking. Of course. Eventually we'll find it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we'll find it kind of like at the last place of it. Okay, there's nothing to loot here, I don't think. No, she's like in my way. I wish she just stood still instead of just like blocking my way every now and then. It's really bad. Is there something over here, maybe? A book? Hey, some loot. Is there another thing over here? Okay, let me read this one first. This is the one we're looking for. Right here. 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. Oh, that's... Hit a hollow... Sorry, Al. Barrels are dated 1268. Okay. So we're gonna check to see if any of these barrels are empty or not. Full. Full. Then the last one here. It's full, this right? full, too. Oh, we gotta check, like, left and right of it. Full. Oh. I mean, that's kind of... Interesting that they didn't use the farthest one because the farthest one usually is the best way to kind of conceal the fact that it's empty because nobody checks all the way to the left first in what I think it would work as, but that's empty, I bet. This one's full too. No, okay. That's full too. Full. What? Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of San Real? Uh, Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. I already Ready. have... We can start. I already took the hammer by accident, actually. <laughs> I thought the hammer was just for, like, for uh, dismantling, I guess. My assumption is that the left... Let me check the left side first. The big, This one has got to be the big one first. Ready. Step aside. I hope so. she doesn't get drunk. Mm, I'd recognize this taste anywhere. This one is good. Okay, then let's check the one all the way at the end here, I guess. I hope we're not checking every one of them, and then she's gonna get drunk, and I'm just, like, taking care of it. Ah, you're pushing me aside. Yeah, right and left, far corners, definitely our best ways to check first. And then the center after that. There it is. Knew it. I had a feeling. Revolting, bitter, plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. Wait, why is it this barrel? The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Teleport us to the Fabricio conversation. There we are. Oh! Yikes. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. Yeah, I wonder why he What's wouldn't your grace? check. I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I didn't do anything. We're just checking. I, I, I admit it. I, I I sold a barrel of Sorial. Hmm? I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? And why did you lie? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered it was enormous. I gave in. What? Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I have a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? That makes zero sense, though, because you already own so much of it. I shall tell you everything if you agree to show me mercy. 
Okay. Uh. Who'd you sell the wine to? A few weeks passed at the pheasantry. A rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well connected at court. Ah, so he it is. Suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. Mm. This man's name. Yes. He never revealed it. Damn it. He was tall, black haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. What? I've no Sintrian aristocrat at court. Ooh. Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool. Very foolish. I beg you, Your Grace, you must forgive me. Wine itself. How'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. Bandits. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? At the last you ever saw of them? They... That is to say, a, a few days passed. A, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel, and... Well, I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. Oh? So that means we'll probably have to be involved in this negotiation against him delivering this new barrel to uh, to whoever this person's buying. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Just let him go. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabricio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. Yeah, because that wine was exclusive to the kingdom. What now, Witcher? And yet he we sold it. We set a it. trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. Uh... Son of a gun. No, we have time. Yeah, no, we can start. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. Yeah, we might as well. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You will take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. Yeah, we got time. I, I was thinking we were like near the end of the episode. I was just like worried a little bit, but I guess we weren't. Whew! I thought I was gonna actually ride, like, like ride the horse to the place, but we ended up not. I'm curious because I think it's one of those bandits. Because I think it's the bandits who wanted to take down the kingdom so they can uh, start Relax. taking over the kingdom now for themselves. Wait. I think it's like the people are trying to take over the kingdom. Like the Han Space people. And that's why they probably did the thing they did, pretty much. Yeah, they're all bandits. Literally, they're all bandits. Why? And they have one of them have a crossbow. Yeah, they're all bandits. What the hell, dude? Ah, our favorite vintner. Witcher. I think they now notice that it's a witcher rather than an actual vintner. A vintner. Why are you guys wearing royalty outfit? It looks terrible on you. It's not him. Thank you. Thanks, Captain. Hopefully you're a good shot at killing most of them, hopefully. Okay, so it's time to fight, I'm guessing. Yep, they're all gonna be dead. Yep. Ah, son of a gun! Oh man, there's one person who's like having so much heart- Oh! Oh no no no! There's a fire bear right there, I'm getting out of that. Hell no, I wouldn't want to get killed from that. Oh 
I want to be careful with that. Okay. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I forgot to turn on my magic here. Okay, I gotta heal up a little bit. I'm doing... I'm making mistakes here a little bit. Okay. A little bit of more health. Okay, well, that guy's out. Ow! There we go. There we go. Cool. A little bit of a struggle, but Is not it too just big. me, or did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but... Great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Uh, at least Let's that much. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher, a moment. I was wrong about you. How so? Don't need to like each other. Just gotta do our jobs. If that's how you wish to treat it. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth. And I appreciate it. I Let mean, us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. I mean, like... Like... We didn't come in to be on each other's, like, favor list, favorite lists. We came here because I had a job, and you're just part of the job. Uh, people we need to have on our side for the job, so... Wait, she here? Yeah, how the hell is she... I hope she... you did not think I would leave this to you alone. Oh, come Especially on. when every hour could prove essential. This okay. prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. Kind of curious how she's gonna deal with asking the questions. Oh, it's the guy with the crossbow, I think. The first guy who got shot. Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm confused, but Once okay. Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call it. Oh yeah. He doesn't wish to speak. He needs it. I can think of several other ways. I mean, Geralt can kind of hypnotize him, though. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? What? Hello. Hmm, sure. Sure can. Fresh out. In that case, he's all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope? Yeah, you're gonna get lynched, Live really. Bait. Great for monsters. And that's Provided too. they catch the scent of its blood. But Even though I don't like lynching as 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 an option, but Cracky, no! Don't let them Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. Oh my god, Gero. No, don't let him! I I'll talk! It's funny because of how much there is. Where were these barrels going? Barrels. Where were you gonna take them? I don't know. Lies. Captain, need that rope after all. I truly don't know. Hornet's the leader, only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there, dead. That one. Oh, come the on. The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port. But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true. You must believe me. Okay. Who hired you? He... he'll kill me. Just say I'll it. be worried about me right now. Who is he? Yeah, we'll kill you instead. Horn man, spit it out. The Cintrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the men for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Cintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. 
It's interesting how Captain many criminals we've captured. Gather your men and seek out the Cynthian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, your grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. I mean, it's going to teleport me right off the bat. Oh, let's go. Screw it. Let's go to town. <laughs> let's go to town. I mean, it's a free fast travel, so I don't even know. Yeah, because I don't know if we've explored that location. But at the same time, if I stick around, I don't think I will be able to get back in time to the end of the episode. By the end of the episode, so. She's so impatient. <laughs> Relax, he'll come. There's something I'd like to know. How can you be so damned calm? Side effect of my mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. What if something has happened to him? Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Yeah. Perhaps he can. But this Cynthian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my guardsman's gnosis. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. But also to prevent themselves from dirtying their own hands for this kind of crime. So that's also interesting as well. Still don't know this Cintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Yeah, yeah. Need to find the Cintrian, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Yeah. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. That's very true, too. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. Uh oh it Might be the captain, but it might not be him, either. It could be Reg Regis, as well. Oh, there's the captain. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Cintrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Huh? How did you get that information? Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee. Damn. Named for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. That's fine. I've already killed enough people to understand that. Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now, the port warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. Oh. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease. A man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. That's interesting. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. Who is she? On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. The singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. Huh? Same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. Interesting. Yeah, what is the Mandragora? The Mandragora? What's that? A club. An affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours, and dancers. Huh. Never heard of it. They exude uh, mystique, consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again, they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. Kay. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Basically, an, an artist, like a sort of artist alley kind of thing. Like how convention centers have like an artist alley. People just who has some like some artistic skill, they just show up and just does their thing around the whole group of people, maybe. 
Gotta nab the Centrian. Seems we have to go to that get together. Yeah. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men. Surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. No. Out of the question. If the Synthrian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Or knock out those people Duchess that... Duchess is surround. right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. She's gonna join me. <laughs> we, your grace. Again. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. I Where's still... the event gonna be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Why do I feel like the Duchess has something Geralt, to do with you this? you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. Can I go back to free roam now? I actually am curious about this. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting that it's only me and her again. But also, it's kind of... Yeah, that was... Caught me off guard. A man from Centro. But why did Geralt just... Unlit the fire? The case of the one-armed Adelard. Pause and read, obviously. Yeah, I'm just confused why she's joining us a lot. And it's making me a little bit suspecting of what she's what she's trying to do. Besides being excited about adventure. I feel like she is very keen on being on an adventure. Yeah, I need to get the appropriate clothes. I'll, I'll do that for sure. I really do want to get the clothes. I should double the patrols, just in case. I'm kind of curious. Can we actually went battle Damien? Audacious rat, the Cintrian. I will get it. Uh, let's loot this. I am kind of curious. Where is this place? Is this his like home or something? I should. Good luck. I hope you get the bastard. I guess I have nothing else to do with him. So let's head out. Oh no, that's locked. Okay. This might be like a small jail cell place, maybe? I don't know. I should double the patrol. Okay, so we're, where are we? And let me meditate first. Because we are kind of like low on health a little bit. Or halfway through health already, so. Damn shame. Damn shame that I lost a uh, chance to loot off those dead bodies, though. Alright. Um. Oh, we're at the port. Okay. Semi-port. Let me double check. Yeah, we're at the port. Near the port. So the optional side is going to force us to go here. What is this going to... Okay, so we would have to go near that herbless shop. Okay. Yeah, in the next... Yeah, in the next episode, we will go ahead and grab the outfit. So we can kind of look appropriate for the place. I mean, at the same time, I feel like we can romance... Romance the Duchess. I, I don't know why, but I... <laughs> I'll do it, but it's just kind of confusing to me because she seems like a lady who would just wouldn't mind it at the same time that Geralt's doing the things she's that is allowing her to kind of have fun, quote unquote, have fun. I mean, I, I guess she's interested in these kind of things because it's like she doesn't do this often. So having herself be able to do that gives her the chance to kind of gain an experience of a lifetime sort of kind of idea. And it's 43, so it's not that bad. Um... Wait, what? There's another side quest out of nowhere? The Hunger Game. Visit Corvo Bianco and see how Marlena's do- Oh, it's this one. Okay, let's do the Hunger Game first. Which is a funny title of a side quest. Um, yeah, let's do the Hunger Game and then we'll see what happens from there. Let's help Marlene do whatever she needs to do to kind of recover from that. Uh, I'm glad that it comes- I'm glad the side quest for saving her comes up out of nowhere and that's nice. I'm just wondering what we will have to do for her because she isn't back to her original state before and all that. But at the same time, she's pretty old now and we're one I'm wondering how she's going to recover from all that. So yeah, otherwise I'm just curious about how she's turned out after all that time. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do the Hunger Game. We'll do the outfit change as we can go on to before we go on to the next. Yeah, we're on a new day, a new episode right there. Um... But yeah, in the next episode, we'll do the Hunger Game, and then we'll move into the main quest again uh, if we don't hit level 49. Uh, if we hit level 49, I'll do some of the treasure hunting and also probably the contract, attempt to do the contract. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much where I'm at for now. But in the next episode, we'll see what happens then. 
and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what the story is going to bring uh, bring home with it. Because so far the story is turning out to be something interesting, very very like it's it's pushing me further to want more and want to see how this story ends. Because of course we haven't talked to Deadlaugh or Red, Red Regis for a while now, so we will probably be meeting up with them soon or sooner or later or something like that. So I'm looking forward to that at the very same time. Uh, next episode, hopefully, I'll talk about the Night City Wire episode three as well. Uh, I forgot to mention that uh, the Night City Wire will be in the September 18th date of uh, for their live stream for that. Uh, that's episode three. They're going to talk about the gangs, I think. They're talking about some original soundtrack stuff. Uh, probably one more thing. I forgot what, it's, uh, what it is. But otherwise, I'm looking forward to seeing whatever uh, Cyberpunk is going to show up with, with CDPR. Um, and I'll discuss that in the next episode, if, when, when it's over, of course. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for me in this episode. And uh, yeah, Roz, out.